A central Arkansas nurse gets to keep practicing medicine after a young girl overdosed inside his home. The State Board of Nursing decided today to put Justin Lusby's license on probation for the second time. It's an investigation krk 4 Susan L. Corey is following closely. And Susan, what does this probation mean? Well, Ashley, the state board calls this as strict as it could go, giving Justin Lusby four more years probation. That mainly means his employer will have to send evaluations to the state every few months. This decision already has a local lawmaker questioning why the regulations for nurses need to be tighter. A quick start. The first one we're doing today is Justin Neil Lesby. To a state board of nursing hearing, moving at the same pace. He had a very serious allegation. Justin Lesby, the nurse in question, wasn't there as the state laid out its findings. It's always concerning any time a nurse gets involved personally with a patient. Noting Lesby let 20-year-old Jolie Clement stay at his home just after finishing rehab. And even though she talked about wanting to use drugs. As a nurse, yes, um, you are a mandatory reporter. He left her alone overnight and came back to find Jolie dead from an overdose. But the board says it can only cite him for an inappropriate relationship. The only violation of the Nurse Practice Act that Mr. Lesby had was a boundary violation. Lesby's license was already on probation until November of this year. And this order, voted on Wednesday, adds four more years to that. I think the board went about as extreme as they could. It's a situation Senator Kim Hammer wants to look into, saying what's in the books may not be strict enough. It was a case of poor judgment, compassion, uh, passion, whatever the case may be, I don't know, but it seems like it would be a, a good model for us to look as to why um, that situation existed and why there wasn't any you know, greater accountability. With a unanimous vote. Board members, all those in favor say aye. Aye. This nurse keeps his license, with the state keeping him under a close watch. It was a tragedy that she did die, um, but that's not a violation of the Nurse Practice Act. I reached out to Lesby. His lawyer told me it would be inappropriate to comment at this time. There were questions about Lesby's employer when Jolie died, not reporting discipline to the state board. That did come up today. The board tells me with this probation, they'll follow up to make sure everything gets reported. Back to you. Susan, thanks very much. And if you missed our special report from Tuesday night, you can find it on our website under the special reports tab. It features a deeper look into Lesby's past and an interview with Jolie's dad.